recap. Yeah. And before we say anything, what do you guys think of tonight's Raw? Yeah, well, what did you think about tonight's Raw? I mean, I thought it was okay. Yeah, it could have done a little better, but uh, a little more action, but it was all about one person. So. Uh, yeah, Baron Corbin. But then again, last night was that live event, Starcade, so didn't really have any much, anything yeah, much to uh, We're not talking about that? Of course we're not. It doesn't count. It's anyway. non-canon. So, anyway. Go on, why don't you talk about Baron Corbin and his two henchmen sit, uh, are in the ring? Start off call of Corbin, Lashley, and McIntyre, and of course they're saying how we all had Thanksgiving, that we stuffed our face with mashed potatoes, and did a raw, eating our carbs, that they, they they didn't do that. They're not, they, they, they whatever. Are you sure? Yeah, it's like, like we ate, we're like, we ate garbage and they pretty much ate like the cream of the crop. Right? You sure? Bobby Lashley looks built. Like you could eat a whole subway, uh, a whole all, every subway sandwich, and not lose a weight and not gain a single pound. You probably had celery on a stick. And of course, um, um, they were all saying their thankfuls. And of course, when Drew McIntyre came up, of course he had put up talking about Braun Strowman. What he did to him last week, and of course they showed the rerun what they did. They just... smashed his elbow with the freaking steel steps. But then again, it's aluminum. No one says anything. And then of course he showed up Braun Strowman in the promo screen. He's gonna get ready for surgery. Yeah, he's getting ready. It was really bad. Yeah, it was really bruised and swollen. Aren't the the um surgery rooms bigger? But, um, and you're not allowed to have any cameras and stuff in there. But he says the doctor's never seen anything like this before because working on a big arm like he has. But he says once he heals, he knows three people that are getting these hands. Oh, yeah. And, of course, after that, Corbin has a lot of talk, more talking, but, you know, blah, blah, blah. But he got interrupted. Yep, by Elias. Death with Elias. He just wants the fans to walk with him. Death with him? And of course, he was talking and making a song up for Bobby Lashley. Lashley. <clears throat> and, um, let's see, let's see what we got. It ended up being the first match yeah, of the night. Of course, I made up Elias versus Bobby Lashley. And that match was going swell. Elias was actually doing good. Yep, he almost won. won. Yeah, he almost won. But then Leo Rush had to stick his nose in other people's business and yank the ref out. And the funny thing is, is after he yanked the ref out, he took off his he took off his coat, showing how skinny he is. Mm -hmm. And of course, Baron Corbin being stupid, and he's like, well, actually, won won via disqualification, right? Yeah. But then again, Baron Corbin restarted the match into a no disqualification, right? Yeah, because he goes, you didn't let me finish, Elias, after I was interrupted by you. That, I didn't finish the match up. It's going to be a no DQ match, Elias. First, Bobby Lashley. <laughs> So, and the going when we started is no DQ match, and, um, and of course you know how that outcome was. Well, at least Elias almost, uh, took, tried to take advantage of the no disqualification rule. Use his guitar, but then Baron Corbin just bashed the back of his head, and then Bobby Lashley uh, took the win. Yep. They're all tacking on him and everything. Don't worry, don't worry. This isn't this isn't the fir uh, not the fir not the first match or the last match that's going to be called by our acting general manager. And then the second match of the night, Lucha House Party versus the Revival. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. House Party. And guess what? The Revival before they even start the match, they kept complaining about their loss last week because. You're not a traditional tag team's only t uh, two on two, not two on three. But then again, 
It was another Lucha House Party rules. Three on two, and the Revival still lost. Yeah. Yeah. But Lucha House Party. Yeah. Oh, of course. But, and then there was this thing with Dean Ambrose. He was at the doctor's getting mm -hmm. shot. Somebody over here was getting all hot. Yeah, because yeah, getting... Dean was pulling down his butt. <laughs> getting a shot in the butt. Yeah, but getting rabies and stuff because he, he... He doesn't want to catch what the fans have. Called us Roman. Yeah. Toss me, Dean. I love you. You ain't gonna catch into me. No. That's why she's getting all hot for you over here. <laughs> Because he was starting to pull his pants down. Yeah, whatever. Go on, Missy. What was the next match? Yeah. AOP versus Road and Chad Gable. For the Raw Tag Titles. Yeah. And of course, during this match, freaking little Drake. He's Kiss put... Down. Yep. He puts on Rude's, uh, Rude's robe, and he's like, yeah. This looks good on me, you know? Like <laughs> He runs up the ramp, leaving. Goes into the bathroom. Yep, and he say, ooh, bathroom. Looks nice. Puts in, nice. The, to <laughs> puts in <laughs> the toilet and pees on it. it yep. Puts, stomps it in the toilet. <laughs> it pees. And then that gave, uh, and that gave AOP the advantage. They, Cause he, pit, yeah. they, they basically won. Because he was being distracted. Chad and, uh, and Rude lost the opportunity for the tag team belts. Yeah, well, Drake did say Rude and Gable's gonna get some, <coughs> make them pee for making them, making him get laughed at. Well, they didn't pee. It was just Drake I, being well, a disgusting slob pissing on someone else's uh, clothes. Well, yeah. And that has to be expensive. Trust me, it probably is. But anyway, and then I went to um, Nia Jax and Tamina walking out. Can I just say this? Tamina looks a little bit ridiculous with the with the uh, the way how her hair's all. <laughs> I, I mean, know. Nia looks good, but Tamina, the way how she looks, she looks like a Klingon from Star Trek. She's just missing the ridges on her forehead. Yep, and of course Nia's just talking now. She's. He, she, she's gonna beat uh, Ronda TLC because she's called, known as the face breaker. And plus, she, she deserves it. She had more wins. How uh, she won the battle royal. And then Ronda Rousey came out. Yup. She and got in her face. Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Of course. And then talking and telling her, why don't you use your use your fight instead of using your words or something, whatever. And. Yeah, she was gonna bring it back up. Yeah, but she's like in a sandwich, and then Natty's coming out. And but, then the riot squad attacked Natty. Out of nowhere. And yeah, that was that. That interesting. Going to the first ladies match tonight. Oh God. Okay. Well, the it only. It showed match. Th that Kerr Hawkins replaces Braun Strowman as Amber Moon's partner at the Mixed Challenge. What? That's yeah. not a good match. No, he doesn't have a losing streak. No. That's gonna. That sucks. Put, put in else. someone else. So. Colin yeah. Kane. So you got like Amber Moon with Hawkins. He's always so jumping what? around, joy with him. So what is it gonna be called now? A Moon Hawk or a Hawk Moon? What the heck kind of name is that? Versus Alicia Fox with Mahab. Magic Carpet Ride. And uh, Amber won that. Amber easy. won it easy. She literally won that easy. And then Hawk is all jumping. Yahoo! But yeah, guess but what? Then... The music pops, and guess who makes his return? No, no way. way. No Jose. Jose. No, no way. way. Jose. Jose. They're all joining in the cargo line. Yeah, and... yeah, they were dancing around, and, and Jose course... is meant to fight gender, and yep. boy, was I wrong on that. Yeah, because usually isn't the whole rule if a, a superstar comes back from an injury or something, they're supposed to automatically win. I guess I don't know. Because Ginger won that. Yeah. He did some weird looking move. Don't know what's called. He just it's like whatever. And he won. So Shanti and then he started doing the Shanti thing. 
Shante. Shante. That's stupid. Sounds like he's saying the S word. No, he isn't. Missy, there's no, there's nothing that, uh, that says it, Missy. Of course. At the next match. Missy. Well, but, um, don't forget about the, um, oh, toothpick and... Uh, Go ahead and say that, Missy. They run back. Just talking, nothing important, but go ahead. Who's toothpick? I don't unless, remember a wrestler. Unless if, uh, Alexis Bliss. Oh. How they yeah. were putting her in charge, charge of the women's stuff. Yeah, wasn't she supposed to be another? In charge of the women's stuff. Blah blah blah. Yeah, like the women's like um, I don't know, like stipulations, I guess. Yep. Blah well, blah blah. Whatever. We'll see but, her. Um, anyway, so Seth Rollins versus Dolph the Ziggy Wiggy. It's actually an open challenge. Oh, yeah. Seth Rollins first was talking about Dean Ambrose, and then he's like, he's ready to fight. He's ready to defend his title in an open challenge. And he's waiting to see who accepts his open challenge, and out comes Dolph Ziggler. Yep. We already right know. We know Seth is winning this. And Dolph Ziggler's like, you know what? I'm going to take the title from you. But I he doesn't. He doesn't at all. That was a that pretty much probably was the only good match in the whole yeah, Monday Night Raw. Probably. It went pretty long too. He Seth would not give up. He kept fighting for it. I guarantee that probably was the best match of Monday Night Raw was that match. But he already knows Seth ain't losing because if he lost the belt, then there'll be nothing. There will be nothing for TLC. Well, it'll just be Dean versus Seth for nothing, and Dean won't win that belt. It could be a triple threat if Dolph won. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, but anyway, Seth won with a falcon arrow. And it put. And then it ended up being Bliss doing a Q and yeah. A with, with um Sasha and Bailey. It wasn't even really that long. She can She comes out. She brings them two out. And they're she, answering she's questions answering from the fans. Just one question from this one fan. They answered it, and of course, that's what they're doing jokes to Bliss, saying send her to hell or SmackDown, whatever. Mickey James, Dana Brooke, and Foxy attack them from behind. But of course, Bailey and Sasha stand tall. Yep. Hmm. Pretty boring. It's not like not edge off your feet. It was nothing. It was just <laughs> But um main event. Finn Balor versus Baron Corbin. Now Finn knew knows that Baron could go go up to his tricks and probably make it up rules, so he knew that. He knew it was gonna happen. But it was Finn versus Baron at first. So And we knew Finn was winning. But then because Finn was really going to beat Baron Corbin. He was close. But of course, big baby Baron Corbin. Changes the rules. And says. It's going to be a two on one handicap match. Yeah. And my partner is. Drew McIntyre. And Drew yeah. McIntyre shows up out of nowhere. Kicks the living crap out of. You mean Drooly? Drew McIntyre shows up out of nowhere, kicks the living crap out of Finn Balor, and... I thought Finn did a move on Drew. I don't know. He did. He did. Oh, and then he, got Baron, he kicked Then he kicked Baron Corbin into the chair. Yeah. And, but, and, of course, still, Finn losing, gets Baron and Drew. Then after that, Lashley shows up, and all three of them do their finishing moves on Finn Balor, and Baron Corbin is the one standing tall. Oh my god. This, 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 this. It's the authority taking back power to Raw again. See, one to five rating. For me, I'm going to say well, also, also, Drew McIntyre, he grabbed Finn Balor's face and he says you're a you're a boy in a man's world or something like that. That's pretty much what I wrote. 
<laughs> they all did their moves on Finn Balor. Yeah, the whole point. Simple. The whole point is to show that either you're on Baron Corbin's side and do what he says, or you're going to end up getting the crap kicked out of you. That's the whole premise of the, this uh, tonight's Raw. They're, really a, they're pretty much going to have like a team thing. They're going to have a team of. Um, they're going to like. You know what I was like? Oh, like how they kick the authority out of power for temporary. Would you guys want to see woman tag team titles? That would probably be interesting. What, for just Raw or SmackDown too? Probably both. Yeah, probably both would be really good. But maybe we're... Do they have enough women for singles and tag teams? You can add the NXT woman on that group. Yeah. But in order to do that, you have to assimilate M NXT into both brands. That yeah. mean no, that means there'll be no NXT. It'll all be Raw or SmackDown. No, they can still be NXT. But um, yeah. If I had to rate this Raw, it's a one. I would or say a one po or one point five. I probably won't say it. two and a half. Are you sure? Yeah. Just because you're only saying it's a two because Dean's butt. That's I it. I would give it about a three because they got a good, good, some good parts where you get to see Braun and Dean and Seth. But then most of it was well, it was kind of funny when they had that little skit with him putting it in the toilet. But that was <laughs> messed up. But mm. oh, but it was you know I don't like that freaking weirdo. Anyway, he's a piss out anyway. He's small and shrimpy. We can see him on Free Wednesday. I was not yeah. impressed. I was not amazed. There was not really any. I mean, what did you guys think about? What's your rating? One to five. Cause I'll be honest, we want to hear you WWE fans out there. So I give it a three. I mean, I would have given it. <laughs> what would you ch uh, ch ch if you had the ability to change it? Would would you do? Would you make it go back to the old days of the Attitude Era? No more of this PG era. Cause remember, like any movie. Let's see, Deadpool. It has two movies. What are the ratings? R. Get what you get to do it what, what you want with an R-rated movie because it's meant for the character. Then we get Venom. It was good, but Venom feels more like an R-rated character. And they put it PG-13. You limit the things you do in the movie. They really need to add more skits, like more more funny stuff. Like you know with DX. Things like that. Bring that stuff back. But you can't. You can't well, do... You can't really do DX that much anymore. Well, it'd be really kind of funny watching Bobby Lashley come out in a tutu. <laughs> that that would that'd probably be scary. Well, that might be scary. Well, I mean, they had that little thing in Porter Potty. Yeah. I mean, that was do funny. Do some more skits. But then again, remember, there's not that many superstars out. Some of them are out on injuries and stuff, so you can't do what you want. So the hands are tied. Um, Even if you don't have many superstars, if they took away the PG the PG ratings for it, and it just was allowed to do what they say and can, it at least would be a little bit interesting. Yeah, but today's society, not a lot of people want that. A lot of people want. No, it's because this, because children watch this stuff, and that's what ruined it. Sure, kids watched it back in the day, but everybody knows it was meant for adults. But then the kids started getting more and so more involved. So they want to make it more kid friendly, but they should add a little more skits in it, though. But guess what? Kids go to the freaking Deadpool movie. We've seen it. We've seen it. Went it. Deadpool, yeah. that's a rated R. And yeah. kids and family and I, me and you went three different times actually to see the first Deadpool movie, and then the second one, and we seen families with small children, not teens. Not people that could, that went to high school, little kids, and they still uh, and the parents f uh, still <laughs> allow them to watch the movie. Well, and you want to know something, Ashley? You bought the 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 new Marine movie, and you still yet to watch it. Are you saying something? No, I watched it with my dad when he was available to watch it. He was up to available to watch it last night, but you instead w I wanted to watch Starcade, and we've already seen how that was. Come here. My dad's a working man, so. You wasted an opportunity on really, an yeah, hour long skits. program. They really do. They, like, it'd be funny to see them all. Like, do like a Mary, Mary Had a Little Lamb skit or something. 
<laughs> but Missy, that just falls what around the, the little kids. What? It's the old teacher kids marry little Mary. Get little skits. Little get woman tag team. Yeah. Whatever. No. If I just see no. if Bobby Lashley in a dress or in that little shrimp and a baby. You no, know, that'd be really cute. Put him in a baby costume. Make Bobby Lashley a woman. And there you go. Push the push the little cart around. <laughs> oh God. That won't even. That'd be oh, funny. There's nothing. Who do you think Lars Sullivan from NXT would be better on, Raw or SmackDown? Yeah. Who do you want to So, yeah. Um, anyway, about Lars. So, I would probably see him on SmackDown. Yeah, probably much, because it's more, where is it more, well, we already got the crazy lunatic on uh, Raw, so. So. Who's Lars? Oh, you don't watch NXT. He's some big ass dude. I seen a little bit of NXT when you showed me, and I still said, "Who is he?" I don't think you've seen him. I don't know. I've seen his whole entrance and all that stuff, and you showed me a little bit of his matches, and I'm still not impressed. But anyway, so where would you like to see him? Where would you? All right, all right, but so, people, you know what to do. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.